Hello everybody and welcome to it. Today we've got some beautiful natural lighting going on. Luna, what do you want? Dog mom life. <laughs> Anyways, it's beautiful outside today. It is perfect fall weather. I have my nice little new jacket on. Anyway, so today we're going to be talking about my iPhone 13 Pro Max and like what's on my iPhone. I've had this new phone for about like five days now and I've gotten to customize it a little bit. You want to say hi? Sorry guys, if you hear her in the background, she's been having a bit of an attitude problem today. <laughs> but yeah, so I've had the new iPhone 13 for probably like a weekend now and I've been loving it. I will show you some of the pictures that I've taken. I had like a football game tailgate for college and I went and took a bunch of pictures and lots of videos of people just for fun because I was playing with the new camera. They all turned out so good. Everyone was so impressed with the camera. Like it's so much different than the 12. Like that was the only thing that I really have noticed a difference between with my last phone is the camera. I love it. It's definitely a very great upgrade for me as a content creator. Yeah, here she is. So pretty. I love the silver. I'm not regretting my choice. We have it customized and everything, which we will get into. But first, I want to order a new case. So let's do a little shopping because you guys know I can't have a phone without my favorite cases, which are Case Defy. I did like this case, but honestly, it's just not as protective as I wish it was. So we're going to look through Case Defy really quick. So you guys know that I love Case Defy's cases because they are slim and protective. Their impact cases are engineered with a two-layer construction of Cheetah, and they are drop tested for drops up to 6.6 .6 feet for impact cases and 9.8 feet for the ultra impact cases. These cases are obviously all from my iPhone 12 Pro and they will not fit my new ones. So that's we're going to pick out some new ones for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And if you got the new iPhone 13, you need a Case Defy case. Case Defy's antimicrobial coating keeps your case germ-free, killing 99% of bacteria. And their impact and ultra impact cases are made with 50% recycled material so you can feel good about your phone looking great. They come in tons of designs so you can pick your favorite color or print to match your phone case to your style. You can also add your name or your monogram for a truly custom case, which I love. I'm in love with this one. It's definitely my style. I also like that you can see it on whatever color phone that you have. So I have silver and that's what it'll look like. I'm a sucker for anything floral, so I will definitely be getting this one. A cute little star moment. How can I resist the dots? That is so cute. If you are interested in ordering, you can go to casetobuy.com slash juliakkchris for 15% off your order. I will also have the exact links to all those cases that I just showed on that link as well. Again, if you haven't watched my iPhone 13 Pro Max unboxing, here it is. I will link it below for you. If you haven't watched that, you definitely should. I know you guys love unboxings. I love them too, so always the best time. That In that video, though, I talk a little bit more about the phone, why I chose this one, all that stuff, so you can watch that in that video. Today, I'm going to just be showing you guys my customizations to this new phone, giving you guys the hookups for all the widgets and everything that I customized with. So, here is my lock screen. It's the cutest. It's just a cute little collage that I made on camera. Canva. I will have that up on my website, which will be linked below if you want that. Then my beginning page is just this cute fall background with a couple widgets. So I have this one of a girl wearing a flannel that I really want. So I think it's really cute because I'm hoping maybe I'll find the link to that random flannel someday. I just love the colors and they go with all the other colors of the widgets. Then one of coffee and then I have the date with the week, day, and the of the month. Then at the bottom I have messages, phone, Instagram, and Snapchat. And here's the next page. So I only have two actual pages out on my home screen. So this one has all the apps that I use probably every day, if not like at least every other day. YouTube, obviously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Music. This right now is my favorite little fall playlist. Love the vibes and then also Taylor Swift. I've been listening to all Taylor Swift lately. Pinterest. So Pinterest is going to be where you can find the little icons that I used right here for my homepage. I will have it linked below. I have all these different mood boards and stuff for iOS 14, but here is the one that I use. Oh, I just realized I forgot to use that one. I have to add that on there. The home app I used to use with my Apple HomePod mini. It's like a little speaker. Etsy, FaceTime, Starbucks. I love Starbucks. I love using the app. I can't believe I like just found out about this, but like the whole pre-ordering ahead and going in store and picking it up, it's so nice. Cause here in my college town, it is always packed. Like Starbucks, we have two different Starbucks and they're always so busy. At least sometimes that I try to go, it's always so busy and it's just not fun to wait through. It takes like 30 minutes. So I like to order ahead. Apps and the Apple Maps is really cool cool with the new with the new Apple update you can like see 3d and like all these trees and the like special landmarks are I want to see what this means 
Oh, it's, that's really cool. It's like a flyover thing. Wow, I haven't messed with that yet. <laughs> Here are my photos. I literally just took this video of Luna being crazy. She was drinking so much water when I was trying to film and it was a little frustrating. <laughs> like, listen to this. I have four extra camera batteries and all four of them were dead, so I'm sitting here waiting for them to charge between filming parts and it was just so frustrating. Everything was going wrong and right now Luna won't stop whining. I'm sorry if you didn't hear that. Stop it. Please. Please stop. Yeah, I have 29,000 photos, which is a lot. <laughs> I have the Apple Mail app. I use that and I have like all five of my different email addresses on there so I can just check them all every day. Group me, I use for my sorority. We have our big group chat on that. Safari, Lightroom. We've been cooking it up in Lightroom lately. Wanted to make that a widget and then I also forgot, but I also run my sorority's Instagram if you can't tell. I have all of our bidday pictures. TikTok, go follow me there. I'm trying to film a TikTok right now. Where I'm like filming each day my outfits like my own Monday. And that's what I'm wearing today. And that's all I have so far. <laughs> my alarm, and I usually just turn them all on the night before. I don't have them preset for each day, which I really should, but I don't. And I somehow remember to turn them on every night. Settings, calendar, you know the deal. And then I definitely utilize the app library, and I keep all the apps that I'm not on on a daily basis on here. So the recently added. I have this little doggy camera that I like to use whenever I'm out at class or at a party or something, and I want to check on Luna and make sure she's okay. I like to hop on here. And I can even like press the talk button and say something to her so if she's like getting into something I can yell no and maybe she'll stop. It also like keeps recording so watch this one. She like wakes up because it was like shines a little blue light and then she goes back to sleep. I felt so bad. But that's that. And here's my Instagram. You guys should definitely follow me on Instagram. I love it. Here's my post about the iPhone 13. Like to know it, creator. I'm still trying to learn the ins and outs of that. We have Before You Fly. This is an app for my drone to give me tips on like where I can fly and everything. All my different social media ones. Um, pretty self-explanatory. You guys know all those. <laughs> Creativity. And I'm going to be honest, a lot of these apps, I... Don't even know what they're for anymore. They've been on my phones for like years now. I need to really go through and like delete all the ones I don't use, but I'll show you some of the ones that I think are cool. Canva, of course. You guys know I love Canva. I swear by them. Here's me making that wallpaper earlier. A bunch of other random things that I was doing. <laughs> Dispo, uh, I'm logged out. Well, I don't wanna do that right now, but Dispo basically is an app where you can take pictures and they will develop the next morning at 9 a.m. with like a disposable edit on them. And we have like a camera roll between my whole friend group here at college and we all take pictures and add to it every time we're out like darting or something and it's really fun. Then I have my drone camera one and so this is the app that I use to fly my drone whatever I do use it. So here's some like the pictures that I took um, back in California and I can just see some of the pictures and videos that I took with that. Then I have photo circle. This is what I use to get content from my sorority sisters to post on the Instagram. We all Add pictures to that. I really like the Storylux app for making these little things, if you can see. I obviously use it a lot for my sorority's Instagram, as I said. Definitely took over my life there for a month or so. There's me, like, on my 21st birthday with my dream. That's called Storylux. Lens Buddy, I've talked about a couple times, but it's just like a timer camera app. So that's how I, like, took these pictures. I just set it up on a tripod and it'll take, like, one picture every two seconds so that you don't have to keep going back up to your timer camera iPhone and redoing it. It's really nice. The productivity and finance. Here's what I have. Nothing really special. I'm just my my banking apps, Forge apps, Google, you know the deal. And of course, Widget Smith, which is how I made all my widgets. If you don't know how to do that, watch my iOS 14 video. Also on my reminders, I wanted to show you, I have a lot of these different lists and sometimes it's nice to make a widget out of them. But I have a reminder every two days to post on my sorority's Instagram it's just to like make me remember because sometimes I forget. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't posted on it in a week. But it's nice to like set a little like reminder that happens every so often or whatever if you have something like that that you need to remember every other day. <laughs> you just do that by doing new reminder, post on Insta, and you go into the little I and you can change it and like you can do repeat daily, like every two to see in there, there you go. Um, then we have the utilities. This honestly doesn't look very organized. Obviously Apple 
organize this itself. I did not do this. A lot of these are for school, magic links for making quick affiliate links whenever you guys ask for the link to certain things. One Night Werewolf is a board game. It is so fun. I highly suggest getting that if you need like a nice family friendly fun game. A lot of these other ones are kind of lame though. Like this was my laundry machine app from freshman year of college. Don't need that anymore because I don't live in the dorms. Entertainment. We have all these streaming apps, concert tickets, you know the deal. For travel, I have Airbnb, my Delta app for when I was flying to California. A couple bus apps, Uber. Actually, I've never used Uber, but hey. You never know when you need it. And in shopping, I have a lot of shopping apps. I do have a problem, but that's okay. A lot of them, honestly, I haven't used in a long time. But again, they're there if I ever need them. Here's the other, um, like I could not tell you what these two apps are. I delete those right now. Um, my Jeep app. Pinterest, why are you an other? I spend a lot of my time on Zillow just looking around at expensive houses. Like, excuse me, $7 million? That is, like, it's just so entertaining. Food and drinks, you know the deal. As I mentioned, Starbucks app. Definitely sign up for the rewards if you haven't yet. So worth it. If you're already gonna be going and buying the coffee, you might as well be getting points towards a free one eventually. Education information and reading, business. Yeah, I'm seeing that a lot of these are very old and outdated and just need deleted. <laughs> Maybe we can do like a declutter slash deep clean my devices video. The very few games that I do have, here they are. Then health and fitness, there you go. So that is how I customized my phone for fall slash autumn. Super cute. I'll probably mess around with it throughout the months. I went for a very different like autumn-y look rather than Halloween. Maybe I'll do a little spooky Halloween one once it gets closer, but right now it's still September. But yeah, I'm really excited for my case to five cases to come in. I'm sure I will post them on my Instagram story whenever they do come in, so follow me over there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Wasn't like a